Hey you, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jules, if we haven't met before, and I have a short torso, and so I do a short torso styling video series. I also do other videos on fashion, style, and shopping, so if you like any of those things, if we have the same body type, then quickly make sure to subscribe. That really does help my channel so much. In today's video, I'm talking about 10 tips to look slimmer if you have a short torso. I have so many disclaimers that I need to say, so just buckle up, sit tight. Maybe this is the time where you go get your pen and pencil, but I just gotta say them and get them out of the way. First, if you click on this video, no, it does not mean you need to lose weight or that you're fat or that I think you need to lose weight and that you're fat and that the only way to be happy is to be slim and thin. Not at all. The pure reason for having this video is actually because having a short torso squats your torso down, like you still have all the same organs and ribs and all the stuff in your midsection that everybody else does, but we just have less space. And so we actually tend to be a little squattier, a little wider. And so we might be a little more like self-conscious or thoughtful in how we approach looking slimmer and feeling slimmer. It feels like we have to do so much more work to feel slimmer than maybe everyone else does. If weight loss is your goal, make sure you consult a doctor. Okay, I think those are all my disclaimers that I need to get to. Let's start with number one. So number one, if you want your short torso to look slimmer, is to choose mid-rise pants. Now, I know, I know, I know. I hate telling you what you should wear. The reason I personally choose mid-rise ish. Like there's no actual definition for a mid rise by the way. And the reason for this is because the higher up your jeans come, they tend to kind of mold you in more. It just kind of holds all the lower stuff in a little bit. And when you have a little bit more structure down here, promise you're going to feel slimmer everywhere else. And the reason mid rise is better is one low rise, which people tend to feel more comfortable in if they have a short torso that doesn't offer as much like support as mid rise and high rise actually can make you look a little poochy because it comes up so high. So it's a very delicate balance. Try to find something in the middle. Because my second point is to half tuck your top into your pants. And yes, I know this goes against conventional short torso styling tips, but if you've been watching my videos, you know, I'm really not for conventional. I am all for just like wearing what you want and making it work for you. Personally, I really love tucking in shirts. I think it just looks more fashionable. It looks more styled. And to be honest, it's just more on trend to tuck in your shirts. So we are going to talk about how to tuck them in that will actually make you look thinner. If you don't tuck in your shirt, it actually makes it look like you're trying to cover up a belly. And sometimes that can work. However, if you chose a mid-rise pant, then your pants are doing that for you already. So I recommend doing a French tuck or a half tuck, either in the middle or to the side. If it's a higher rise, I like a side half tuck because then you can have an angle that makes your torso look longer rather than cutting it off all the way in the front. I'm personally a proponent for showing off your curves and not hiding them and I feel like not tucking in your shirt is actually going to hide your curves rather than show them off and make them look styled. So tip number three in looking slimmer with a short torso is to actually show off your neck. You can do this with an updo but you don't have to. Sometimes having your hair long and having it float away from your neck can make it look really nice and long anyway. You can choose long earrings, beautiful necklaces, show the world your beautiful neck because it is often overlooked when people are looking at the proportions of their body. Us short torso ladies are like, wow, our legs are so long and our middle body is middle body. Torso is so short and it just can feel really disproportionate. And so if you can make the eye think that your neck and head are part of your torso, the better. This is actually hugely important when it comes to short torso styling and I haven't really talked about it all that much yet. I'm going to be talking about it more in a couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe. But a brief spoiler, I have a longer neck and so that actually helps me balance my proportions even more. So just think about that when you're thinking about looking longer and leaner up here, your neck can really help with that. Okay, honestly, I'm a huge proponent for tip number four, but I also realize that's because of the body that I have. Not everyone shares this opinion, but I really do believe in a good, tight, well-fitting bra with underwire padding and everything. So one, the reason I say underwire is because you need to lift the girls off your torso as much as possible. The more they're sagging over, the more they're making your torso feel shorter and look shorter and be shorter. And with that, I want them to not just stay up, but I want them to stay out. And I mean that through like, 
significant padding. I'm sorry if this is TMI, but I think it's really helpful for you to know my proportions and my measurements and my sizes. So I'm a 32 double D and I wear a significantly padded bra. The reason for that is because I want so much support. I want my bra to be nice and tight. I want everything to be lifted up as much as possible and I want it to look as slim as possible. Okay, so tip number five. Again, I am not a health expert. Do not take health, fitness, nutrition advice from me. However, I'm speaking from my experience. Don't go crazy with the ab exercises. I feel like women in general, whenever they see like the Chloe Ting two week ab shred challenge or this ab thing, they think that's gonna get them to lose weight or give them that slim, thin midsection that they want and that they see all the models wearing and everyone else is just like, have these perfect midsections. That doesn't work. I am a big believer that abs are made in the kitchen. It's about what you eat because it's all about what goes on top of the abs, not actually what is making them look stronger. You always want a strong core. You want a nice strong back. You do want strong abs, but you don't wanna be targeting them so much that that they become bulkier and start getting bigger because that's gonna make your short torso look wider, squattier. One of the ab exercises I think that we kind of skew towards a lot is like obliques and doing like twists and trying to make that really thin and tight, but it actually just builds up the side of your abs and makes them wider. So that doesn't help our short torsos so much. Again, not a medical expert. Instead, which is number six, I would recommend you focus on your shoulders, upper back, maybe a little bit of your arms, your glutes, and your legs. Pretty much everything else. But especially your shoulders, upper back, and your glutes, because that's what's gonna give you that hourglass look. The more you can add volume and definition, I don't know about how much volume you're gonna really add, but the more you can add definition up here and back here, the better everything else is gonna look. Tip number seven is one I have talked about before in my seven styling tips for short torsos and that is to show off your ankle. What I really love about showing off your ankle is because that is the smallest part of your leg and so it creates curves. The more curves you can create in your body, the actually thinner it's going to look. I also tend to think when I'm wearing longer pants that if I can show off my ankle, it actually makes my legs look more proportionate and then the rest of my body sort of falls into place proportionally. So for number eight, the more I was outlining what I wanted to say, the more I realized it really could use its own video on it. So if you are interested in its own video on this, let me know in the comments below. But it's to think about posing your legs when you're standing. Sitting a little bit, but it's mostly standing because that's when you can really tell like, wow, the legs and the torso so is and I talked about this, I did a video a long time ago. It's super cringe, but it's still up if you wanna watch it. Just talking about general tips for looking thinner. And I talk about creating angles with your body, among other things. And this definitely isn't a solution if you're standing for long periods of time. If you're standing for long periods of time, you know, you gotta just have both feet on the ground in line with your hips or else you're gonna have hip problems. But all I mean is if you're standing around at a party or in between walking between people, move around your legs a little bit to create some space in between your knees, show off your curves a little bit. And what that does is it breaks up your body instead of looking like one big thing, because generally when you're one big thing, you tend to look a little slouchier. And this takes time, trust me, and I'm not a model, so I can't tell you like exact angles or positions that you wanna be in. But I've learned some general tips on how you want to stand to make it look like your body isn't so one big box. But again, the more you can create curves, the thinner you will actually look. Okay, tip number nine, I feel like can be somewhat controversial sometimes, which I don't know, I really don't like conventional wisdom when it comes to how to style a short torso because none of it is on trend. And in all honesty, yes, I know your waist may be higher up on your body than you want, or maybe it's too close to your hips. Like mine is where it just sort of takes a sharp turn into your hips instead of having that nice gradual transition. <laughs> but wherever your waist is, I don't care. You want to accentuate it. Go to the smallest part of you because if you can highlight that smallest part, you are going to look thinner. Trust me. I mean, honestly, who cares about your proportions? If you show off your waist and it's tiny, who cares if it's too high up? That too high up actually just comes from society and all the images that we see of how we should look and how the perfect woman's body is supposed to look. I'm sorry, screw that. If you have a small waist, I want you to show it off and be proud of it. And then finally, tip number 10 is one that I am not perfect at by any means and I keep working on it and I keep trying, 
still not perfect, but it is to have good posture. No matter what you do, the better posture that you have, the slimmer you're going to look. And it's especially important when you have a short torso because the moment you start slouching, like I always do, the minute your short torso starts to look shorter. So you can actually lengthen your torso, look better, look thinner, and actually be healthier if you just work on your posture. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up before heading to the next one. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I know some of you are watching and you're still not subscribed. It really does help my channel. I would really appreciate it. It doesn't cost anything to you. You can always unsubscribe later. But anyway, I'll have a few more short torso videos linked here and I will see you soon over here. Bye.